Hi, I'm Lucy from Full Sight Clinic and today we're going to be talking about cool sculpting versus M sculpting. At Full Sight Clinic we're lucky enough to have both machines. So here you can see we have the cool sculpt machine behind me and also the M sculpt machine. Now we have a few cool sculpt machines, so we have the ability here to dual sculpt which means that we can put two applicators, so two machines on the body at the same time. This is great for reducing timing, so for areas such as the flanks, thighs, um, on the arms as well, and the auxiliary puff, which is this area, we can actually do a combined treatment, which halves the time of your session. Each cycle is between 35 to 45 minutes on cool sculpting, so it is very, very fast. With the m sculpt machine, it both has two paddles, so again, on areas we were able to dual treat, so if you're doing something like arm muscle stimulation, leg muscle stimulation, or buttocks, we can put two paddles on at the same time, which means your treatment is done in 30 minutes on both areas. If you're doing something like the abdomen, it's between one to two paddles, and again, done within 30 minutes. So both quite fast treatments. What is cool sculpting? So cool sculpting is a fat freezing machine which is the only FDA approved fat freezing machine in the world. So CoolSculpt is one of a kind and it achieves fat reduction in an area of the body that is suitable for treatment of anything from 20 to 30% on average fat reduction per session. So what does CoolSculpting actually do to the body? It sucks into the fat tissue into the applicator on our machine and it holds onto that fat tissue for 35 to 45 minutes depending on which applicator we're actually using. It then cools the fat tissue to minus 11 degrees and it does not affect the surrounding tissue in the area so it's only tackling fat tissue, hence why it's such a safe treatment. Now when it hits the fat tissue to minus 11, it causes it to actually die. So we get death of the fat cell at that point at minus 11 degrees when it's been on for the required amount of time. At that point we're going to massage the skin once we take the applicator off for a set amount of time and when we do that we're further breaking down the cell wall lining of the fat tissue. So what we're actually effectively doing with fat freezing is destroying fat cells. We are killing the cell wall lining of the fat tissue. By doing that you will not produce new fat tissue in replacement even if you gain weight in the future. All that happens is that the remaining fat tissue will enlarge in size if you've got any fat cells left over after doing cool sculpting and you gain weight. So it is a permanent treatment. After puberty we do not make new fat tissue, so unless we reach morbid obesity, which obviously most of it will not, so it is a very, very permanent solution to fat reduction. With cool sculpting you can see results from two weeks. Most clients, however, do see results from the six to eight week mark. So we do invite you back for a free review at the six to eight week interval after having your session. And then we can determine how much reduction you've already got. We can take your photos again, do your weight again, and just check up on your progress and see how happy you are with the results. And whether you want to do a second session, which you can absolutely do at that point. Some clients prefer to leave at 12 weeks. So if we're doing a certain treatment plan where we have a really heavy overlap and we're expecting quite dramatic results, we may actually come back in 12 weeks, not six to eight to determine whether you're suitable for another session. Here at Full Sight Clinic, for electrical muscle stimulation, we use the m machine, which is absolutely fantastic for both men and women on areas such as the buttocks, abdomen, arms, and calves. It's fantastic at building muscle as well as reducing fat on areas. So for areas such as the buttocks, we're gonna switch off the fat reduction and we're gonna stimulate as much muscle, muscle tissue as possible. On the other areas, such as the abdomen, we're gonna try and increase fat reduction at the same time. The way that the m sculpt works is it implodes the fat cells on areas that we're not able to achieve with exercise and also with cool sculpting. So it's a really good treatment that you can do in combination with fat freezing. Once you've lost a lot of fat tissue, you can then move over to m sculpt and actually further reduce fat tissue and then build muscle. This particular technology is meant for those who already have a healthy lifestyle, healthy eating and also regularly attend the gym because what we're trying to do is stimulate muscle and if there's too much fat tissue on the area you're not going to see the muscle stimulation as effectively. So it's really good to do in combination with eating healthily and also attending the gym. Now when you've done your m sculpt treatment you want to try and avoid working out that area for 48 hours after each treatment because you may have slight soreness to the muscle. 
fantastic thing about Ansculpt is there's no downtime and it's only a 30 minute procedure. So when you come in for your Ansculpt treatment, we'll put the paddle onto the skin on the desired area, whether that's your arms, your calves, or your abdomen or buttocks. When the paddle is in place, you'll feel a light contraction sensation and we can increase this contraction to your desired uh, temperament, basically. So if you find it too uncomfortable, we can lower it. If you feel that you can tolerate more, we'll heighten the intensity of the contractions. Which treatment is better, cool school or M school? Well, it really just depends on what the client's looking for. If we have a client that comes in that's looking to treat the abdomen area and they do have a really low body fat percentage or a really low fat percentage on that particular area, then maybe cool sculpt isn't the best thing for them to do. Maybe the M sculpt would be better because it will decrease by 19% the body fat on that particular area whilst also stimulating muscle production. Now, if someone comes in with more fat tissue on an area and is bothered more about the fitting into clothes, um, and also rolls and things like that, then definitely cool sports is more likely to be the best option for that particular client. So it's really important that you come in for a consultation. Now anyone that does cool sports or end sport consultations is also qualified in both treatments. And we've done that obviously on purpose so that we can help to determine the best result for yourself and also give you the best guidance on which we think will give you the result that you're looking for. Some clients do a combination of the two or we'll just go for the, whichever treatment we think is gonna work better for what they're actually looking to achieve. Thanks for watching our video on Cool Sculpt versus M Sculpt today. Please subscribe and check out our website at www.coolsiteclinic.co.uk where you can book in a free consultation and of course one of our senior experts in CoolSculpt and MSculpt will ascertain which treatment is better for you.